Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Real Appeal Gaming Entertainment. My name is John, and uh, we are playing Firewatch. Haven't played this in a while. Uh, I do definitely want to get this out of the way because this is definitely an entertaining game. Um, <laughs> sorry, her uh, her voice threw me off. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our That's problem. our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Mm, that's not good. I don't really know why that would be the case. Uh... There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> it's Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Mm. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay. All right. All right. So who is this? Uh, who is this Hank? That I should have to worry about. All right. So let's get out of here. Let's see. Still an entertaining game. Very entertaining game. There's a few things I want to find. Extras, if you will. Um, Alright, so let's pull out the map. We are there. Where do I need to go? North of the canyon. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. Okay. So, this way. I think this way. I think this way. Oh, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. So turn around. All right. Hope this thing isn't in real time. Okay. So I'll go this way. There we go. Yes? Yes? Am I going the right way? And uh, I'm not going the right way. Again. So is it... Over here. Okay, can't make a shortcut. <laughs> Just follow the trail. Okay, now I remember. Because there was a porta potty. And then a little generator. Yep, now I'm going the right way. Okay. Hmm. Thought I heard some. Okay. Just taking a nice little stroll. There's a cache in the cave. Do, do, do. 
Space bar, drop down. Henry, you are in amazing shape. Because that would have broke my kneecaps. There we go. Jump. Flashlight. R is to run. There we go. We're actually making some progress now. Alright, so which way now? So, either way, it'll take me to there. There we go. Bridge. Jump. Jump. Ooh. Careful. Careful, Henry. Or Hank, if you'd like. Okay. Or report morning fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Mm. I just Julia. spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh. So you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? you okay, good. More. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, Would I can you? hear you. All I right. said I could... I'll let you know if anything Wait, are you talking about me? Who are you talking to? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. So I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through that canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. Wait, I'm going around. That would be... This is north. Okay. <laughs> Jump. Gap in the brush. There we go. Got it. <laughs> okay. More fog. I think I'm going in the right direction. Hope I'm going in the right direction. Oh, okay. I see the lines. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Heard. <laughs> Going to the top of the trail. Okay. What's all this? And now that I'm over here, is there a cache? Way up north. There is one. Alright, so that goes back down there. So I do need to follow this one. There we go. Parkour. Keep saying something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Delilah, you can see everything. So why are you sending me out here? So 
That's good. I'm kind of sort of failing to see what the point of this is. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Don't follow the poles, find your own way. Good to know. Like, how do I get on top of there? Or do I want to get on top of there? Okay. Guess we'll find out. Ooh, beer cans. What? That's our beer cans over here. Uh, since I've been cleaning up the rest of the stuff. Space bar for the long drop. Whee! There's a whole lot of beer cans out here. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know. Right. They better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Facility pool. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. <laughs> Just a bunch more beer cans. Go to hell. Been snipped. <clears throat> hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Oh, and then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Illegal. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. I miss the cash here. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Just a bunch more beer cans. Like, do I get something if I pick up all these beer cans? Like, I know Smokey the Bear would be proud of me. It's not only putting out forest fires, but I'm also cleaning up messes. Wait. So how do I get back over there? So I need to go east. Which is definitely that way. Because I don't want to miss it. <laughs> can I climb? I can climb rocks. Good job, Henry. Toot, toot. That was impressive. Okay. So I could have saved some time by not doing that. Alright, so I'm going to double back real quick. Really didn't seem that far off from where I was. Yeah. So I should be able to go east 
and find it. Just have to find it. Maybe this way. <laughs> okay, which way is east? That's east. So I need to go that way somehow. Or should I even worry about it? I think I might have missed it. Damn. Okay. Let's go find some beer cans, I guess. Nope. Nope. Well, she did say head back towards your tower. And this would be back towards my tower. Right? So that was a long drop. I am so lost right now. I shouldn't be this lost. Unless... Come on. This has a long drop. But I can't get up there. I already went that way. I'm not going to do that again. Alright. I go back to where I was. I might be able to uh, double back from it. Maybe not. So I'm definitely going in the wrong direction. Alright, I'll drop down. Supply drop, Jonesy. We go that way. Just look for the beer cans. Hey, yeah, there's a pack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ooh, camera. And... Well, rope. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With hmm. pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. That's disgusting. Uh, I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, huh. good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. 
<laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Fine. Okay. So attach rope. Quick. Yeah, at least I don't think this rope is going to break. So that's a plus. And if I need to get back, I can. Perfect. And another one. Doesn't really seem like that far of a drive. You know what? Don't care. Don't care, don't care. Okay, it was a little bit further than I thought it was. Okay. And on top of that, look what I found. There we go. So, one, oops, two, three, four. Really original. Alright, so copy the information. Map updated. Take the note. What does it say? Uh, Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check on my new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for... Oh, oh look out. Sorry. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the ham hock? I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream delay cream that's okay. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. That's funny. Let's hold on to that. What we got here? Fossilized claw? What? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Um. Okay. Well, I don't really need it. What's that? Has a leaf. Stone. Okay, I guess we don't care about stones either, so we're done here. Alright, so Jonesy Lake is this way. Tell me that's where. No, 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 that wasn't where I needed to go. Because that would have been too easy. Alright, here we go. Uh, this way? Maybe? Maybe? Break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. Oh. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm, hmm. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Where am I going? Am I gonna keep going that way? I'm not seeing any more beer cans. Like, that should be the telltale sign of... I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but chotch. I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. A flapjack. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. It's beautiful. Perfect. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Hmm. Some sort of trail. Well, I'm looking for underwear or 
something. There's definitely nothing out here. I keep hearing a bunch of noise. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Oh, sad music. Here we go. Uh, I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad nice. it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, uh, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? But hey! I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Here we go. <clears throat> what does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? Yeah, she's yeah. alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away. And that was it. Back here. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Back to where I started. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. Since I've already been here. Graphics are truly stunning in this game. The storyline's pretty good. Um, Delilah's different. I guess you'd have to have a sense of humor if you're going to be stuck in a little wooden shack for months upon months at a time. That's where I want to go. Yeah. Wait, was I already here? I was already here. It says use. Might as well just get that out of the way. Alright. So what now? I'm back at the cave. Unless she's going to tell me that I'm going the wrong way. Because that would be really nice. If she could tell me that. I came through here last night. Or the last time I played. Which would have been last night. Game time. Um... Yeah, that's the way to the lake. Yeah, I might have to double back, but I'm still gonna go towards the lake. Wait, was that a fire? Hey, do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <laughs> <sighs> not a one. Not a one. Okay. 
So, I'm glad I'm going the right way. So I definitely hate to have to do this and all of a sudden can't find your way. Or, can't find your way back. Because that would be really annoying as well. But, I'm glad I found the uh, run button. Have I said that before? I think I did. All right, so, so how'd you meet? What the hell's that noise? Um, met, met in a bar. bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. What's that noise? Ah, ducks. <laughs> Is there a way? No, no. Okay, so I'm over here. I still need to keep going. You know what? Let's go this way. Nope, not that way. Not that way either. Let's go this way. I'm pretty sure that's where I found the underwear. Man, this is all confusing. Yeah, this is definitely where I found all the underwear. I'm going back the way I came, aren't I? No. No. Okay. I don't think I am. The same way that I went yesterday. Go through here. Can I go through here? I can't go through. <gasps> Ooh, I can't go through. No, I can't. Saw the log and got excited. My bad. Just here for a good time, not a long time. I need to go. Yeah, actually, I can. I can get there. From here. Thank you for all the rope, Brian. Forgot how to repel there for a second. direction? I am. Go. Just gonna keep on going. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. I'll probably just head back to Boulder and I don't know, I'll figure out what's next. Maybe I'll move. No. You should go see her. Yes, you love her. If she remembers me. I know I don't know anything about your situation, but I think you should go or you'll regret it. She'd love to see you. I think you should go. Okay. Thanks. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. And I'll be honest, I don't even care. Because I have... 
one thing to do in this entire game, and I'm going to do it. Definitely a lot of pretty oranges. Where am I going right now? How did I miss it? Damn it. No, I don't care. I'll come back for it. But I'm doing something right now. So basically, I'm looking for a little friend. And where's the most perfect place to find a little friend? Next to a creek. Hmm. I'm probably really close to one. I missed it about six times. <gasps> oh, yes! I found him! I'm gonna take a little picture of him. That's my friend. I got myself a little turtle. Hi, buddy! He's so cute! Yes! Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, yeah, he is. Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like mm. a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Mm. Turt Turt Reynolds. Reynolds. There you go. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. I'm going the mustache to adapt is impressive. You tell him uh, I love Cannonball Run. <laughs> Yes, my day is complete. Okay, I got the turtle. Uh, so if I continue this route, I should be able to get what I'm going for. I'm so excited. So basically at 36 minutes, I finally found myself a turtle. Tur Reynolds, that is. Wait, where am I going? Hell no, I'm not going the right direction. I'm going this way. Oops. There we go. I found my bearings. Now that I got Turt Reynolds by my side. One more time. Make sure I'm going the right way. Should be right here. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, see how easy that was to uh, miss? What we got? Copy the information. Ooh, missing person. Uh, pine cones, some logs. Missing person. Mitch Michaels. Hmm. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. P 
PTSD. That doesn't sound good. Not at all. She was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so waterfall? It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I bet I could have found Turt Reynolds over there. Wait, am I still going in the right direction? Wait. Wait, beer can. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Roger that. Hmm. Well, I found a beer can. And I'm going way off the trail. Okay. So, let's go this way. climb up the waterfall. I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction every time. Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. That little save symbol helped me too. Here we go. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it yep. them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Okay. Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the, the teen, teen zone. zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. So you're not going to take the beer? Ooh. That's not good. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oops. Should have just left it there. And then... There we go. Should cover my bases. Q. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police and whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed her campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Panties is gross out. Okay. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some, uh, over some fireworks. Dick. Well, I'm going to... Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? <laughs> no, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. 
Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Day three. Dun, dun, dun. So, um, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm going to call it Turt Reynolds. The story of Turt Reynolds. I don't know. But anyways, find boards downstairs, patch window. So I guess I'll do that next time I play. But as always, I just want to thank every every single one of you that uh, we appreciate you watching our our channel. Uh, Skits and I hey, definitely Henry. appreciate everything. Yeah. Shut up, Delilah. Um, I'm talking here. What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <clears throat> Since apparently I'm. Well, I get confused yes. for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Since everybody Women likes Burt Reynolds. A similar musk. Musk. Uh -huh. Hey, you asked. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god. God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Oh, it's, it's definitely shorts. Um, clothes. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm oh looking God. at you across the bar. So what this is going to be see? like another 10 minutes. Uh, hmm. <laughs> um, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Oh my God. Out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? What's that picture at? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um... Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. They look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. Just put it back, man. Alright, anyways. Um, yeah, Skits and I, we appreciate you know the viewership and everything else, the comments, the engagement. We love it. So, as always, thanks for watching and have a great night.